What's up? I'm Brock. I'm Tay. And in this video, we're gonna give you a life update and uh, let you know that we moved. journey you know that for the entire month of March we were pretty much staying with family because we had some obligations down in Southern California then we had a lot going on in April so we continued to stay with family we didn't have a long enough break to really take the trailer anywhere significant and during that we kind of started assessing the rest of our summer we wanted to be in the Airstream for much longer but because we got it way delayed mm -hmm. and because we have so much coming up. My yeah. sister gets married in August, then we get married, then two of our best friends get married on the same weekend in October, plus we have our honeymoon, and then you're right into November and the holidays. So Which it's, is also snowboarding season. So it's a really busy summer, fall, and winter. Because of that, we thought that it would be best to have our own permanent location again. We still plan to keep the trailer for many years to come, and we still plan to travel a ton, but the traveling is definitely going to decrease in the next couple of months. We were planning on, ha on having a home by now. With the way the market is, it, does, it doesn't make sense for us to buy a right. home right now. So we're gonna be renting a place in California, and uh, that's what we're gonna show you in this video. Yeah. The move itself was super simple and straightforward. We packed everything up in Seattle in a pod, had the pod shipped to San Diego when it was ready to be picked up. And then we had a moving company with three guys move and, and they were done by like 1 p.m. that day and started at like 9 a.m. So very quick, easy move. And we got a few little things chipped here and there and only one major crack in that table. I think that was the only major thing that broke in the move. Which is a success. I was most worried about our giant glass tabletop and mm -hmm. that one was good. So that that's, survived. I was happy about that. I think in one of our other videos, we talked about moving to North San Diego somewhere. That was our original plan, but now we're in Dana Point, which is South Orange County. 45 minutes apart, yeah. but, but different. And we did that because we're both from South Orange County. Mm -hmm. We don't really know how permanent or temporary this is. It's really just dependent on where life takes us a little bit. We'll be here for at least a year. Didn't want to have to move to a place that we're not familiar with. Mm -hmm. and have to find all new places. And the whole point of us moving home is to be closer to family. Yeah. So for now, we might as well just be very close to family. Yeah. Take advantage of that because we don't know how long that's gonna last. Speaking of, uh, we can kind of tell them a little bit about our plans for next year. Yeah, they're the same <laughs> plans we had last year, which is maybe buy a house, but we just don't know what the market is gonna be like. Mm -hmm. And we're young, we don't need a house, so Buying a house when the market is crazy and you have to pay cash and pay this much over and like, it's just a lot. And then yeah. on top of wedding planning, it's very stressful. So we're gonna hold off till next year. And that gives us a little bit more time to kind of figure out where we wanna go. So we're looking at Utah possibly, Definitely somewhere that has snowboarding. Somewhere that's a little tax friendly. And Washington is not really in the cards for us. Not that we don't love Washington, but we want to have a home that is very close to a ski resort to where we could go there on a mm -hmm. daily basis. Mm -hmm. And Washington ski resorts don't really offer that. They're usually a little bit more secluded and harder to get to. Yeah. So the day we got our trailer, we picked it up from Airstream. We drove it across the street to this place that does add-ons to trailers so that we could install an aftermarket hitch. It was this great hitch. I did so much research, but there was one thing that we were uninformed about and is that we would have to make modifications to the trailer that were permanent and we weren't comfortable doing that. So we decided not to do it and we went to pick up the trailer. And the guy said, okay, here's your trailer. Oh, and there's one thing I gotta tell you, um, we dropped it. Like what? And we literally thought he was joking. Because like he said it so casually. Yeah. Like he didn't even apologize. Yeah, we dropped it. There's like a little dent and the front kind of dented in like that from the impact. It dropped on the tongue of the trailer. And we're like, oh, okay. And he's like, but we can like, you know, bump the dent out like they did like door dings on cars. Mm -hmm. And I said, no way to that. It needs to be inspected by Airstream because mm -hmm. that was a lot of force on the tongue of the trailer. And I want to make sure that there's not any other damage that we weren't aware of. And I am so grateful that we did that because it was not just a simple dent. It bent a lot of pieces of the trailer. The inside is bent and mm -hmm. cracked. It's yeah. gonna take a month, month and a half to fix. And it's very expensive. Luckily, 
we are not responsible for it. It's the company who dropped its responsibility. We would have had to live with parent, our parents for that month and a half. So aside from the trailer needing fixing, another reason that we're not gonna live in the trailer after it's fixed is that Orange County really is not trailer friendly. It's a little bit more van life friendly because you can just park in a neighborhood, mm -hmm. but all of the campgrounds here are booked year round, rightfully so. Like yeah. they're all on the beach. Obviously they're going to be popular. There are like no rest areas. It's crazy. Through Orange County. Like you get to what, LA yeah. and then there's just no rest <laughs> areas for like the rest of California <laughs> pretty much. So that's out of the cards. We really wouldn't have an option of where to park our trailer overnight, except a storage unit. Mm -hmm. You can't sleep with a storage unit. Yeah. There's also no like trailer parks or like long-term yeah. options like that. Trailer living in Orange County, Southern California is a challenge. Okay. Now, day trips to the beach, we plan on doing those, mm -hmm. but living in it, in Orange County is much more challenging than Washington. Yeah, so I have been scrolling on Facebook Marketplace for hours every single night and he can vouch for this because I am very passionate <laughs> about making this place very much us and feel very comfortable. We learned a lot when we moved into Seattle. Because of that, I would love to give a house tour if you guys wanna see it. So let us know in the comments if you want an MTV style, welcome to our crib tour of our new town home. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see, see you later.